You know everybody's just looking at your bum right now. Pillow talk! This video is sponsored by Mix Tiles. You just pop these babies on the wall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that sweet, sweet sound. We all rent apartments, so no nails required. If you guys want to order some, we're gonna tell you how you can do that right mm -hmm. now. It's super easy, you can choose photos straight from your phone, so you don't have to be a photographer, you don't have to have a fancy camera. If you guys have a file of the photo you want, it, it does end up turning out better than yes. Instagram, but you can upload them from your social. Then, oh, oh okay. <laughs> you guys will get the photos in the mail. This is me and Adriana. And they just have a little adhesive sticker on the back that you can peel off, stick it right on the wall, Take it off, move it. Boom. No marks. Check out the link in the description and use the coupon code unsolicited30 to get 30% off. They're eight by eights, eight inches by eight inches, so they're like a good size. You can order a whole bunch of them. First three that you order are $49, and then they're an additional $9 after that. Adriana always says today's episode is very special, but today's <laughs> episode is very special. Usually when we talk about a subject, it's just like a bunch of jokes and absolutely no Substance. advice. <laughs> No actual real <laughs> advice whatsoever. We're gonna talk about a gay bucket list. Brought to you by Sarah and Adriana. Oh my goodness. It's called the Sarah and Adriana bucket list. <laughs> and we'll we'll let you guys know how many of them we have checked off as well. Yeah. Number one, attend a pride. And you can start small where it can be any pride. It can be like the pride that's in your city. Some of them are small and it's like two dudes in a car with a like busted drag queen behind them <laughs> and that's it. That's yeah. fine. You can even go one step further, attend a pride in another city. Like a bigger city, like a San Francisco pride, Toronto, New York, yeah. Madrid. And then if you've done that, attend a world pride. One city gets the host pride for the world. So like this year right now, or just happened, it was in New York yeah. City. Which is, was celebrating the 50 years of Stonewall. Yes. So, so. That's a pretty good one to attend if you missed it. We missed it. But we did attend the very first World Pride in Toronto. In Canada, I think, So wasn't check. It? So check. We've attended a Pride in our city, a Pride in a different city, and a World Pride. Conquered. Bucket list item number two, and this is if you're kind of like a newbie gay, a little baby dyke. You know what? Even if you're not a baby dyke. Well, you could be a little bit older and you haven't done this. And it's important. It's like a step in a, it's like a coming of age step in becoming a lesbian or a queer lady. And that's make your own L word gang. Yes. Have some lesbian, lesbian friends. It's the reason why they made a show called The L Word and it's the reason why they're rebooting it. Okay. <laughs> because everyone wants their yeah. L word gang. Just trust me. Once you have gay friends, like you're you not gonna go back. <laughs> what was missing in your life. It's true. When I came out, I didn't have any gay friends. Adriana was my first gay friend. First and longest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, have we made our own L word gang? We have. We have. Check. Done. Number three. They're all important, so I'll just stop saying it's important. <laughs> Cut all of your hair off. We all want to know what we look like with short hair. We've seen those sexy lesbians with their short haircuts and we're like, would I look good like that? We all watched the Charlie's Angels trailer <laughs> and thought, hmm, could I pull off Kristen Stewart's hair? Yes. So just <laughs> once in your life, do it. You'll you'll probably regret it or you'll realize, oh my god, I look this so much better. I Why wanted. did I ever have long hair? I can check that off. I you did it. I did it great. three times. Good for you. I did it once in high school, once in college, and once recently. It's did like, you regret it? No. No. Very simple answer. <laughs> she did not regret it. No, I didn't regret it because hair grows back. That's true. And especially when you get it short, if you don't like the style, it'll grow out a bit and then you can get it cut into a different thing. Ladies, let's be real. How many times are you leaving your house anyways? No one's gonna even notice that you cut your hair. Aw, they're gonna notice. <laughs> I did it like once when I was young, so I'm not gonna count it. Like, you know when you're like, I was like 10. So I'm not gonna count like cutting your okay. hair short when you're 10, because that's gonna like. do it. So I gotta do it now. I've never done it, because I don't think it's gonna look good. Mm. Short hair is way better 
to take care of. Okay, if I'm long gonna, hair is just too much maintenance. It's really annoying. I would love to just like buzz my hair <laughs> yeah. and then just just for like maintenance, so I just never need to actually yeah, no, take care of it. That's good. Okay, number four of the lesbian bucket list. Let's hear it. Is move to a new city at least mm -hmm. once in your life. Say you, especially if you grew up in a small town or a city that's like super homophobic you and you feel like you didn't belong. You didn't have your group of gay friends. You couldn't find your gay friends yeah. because no one in your town was gay. Even if, even if you're like, I can't afford to move to a big city, do it for like, even if it's a month, just so you can see what it's like. Because right. the world isn't as bad as you think it is yeah. sometimes. And there are a lot of... LGBT people out there. Yeah. And sometimes when you're in a small town, it might feel like it's the worst. That and there's you're the literally only one. no one else. Probably because you are the only one. <laughs> Driving into your tiny town, it says popu population 3,000. LGBT population one. one. We, it says Mallory. It says we have a gay. <laughs> <laughs> Number five on the bucket list date somebody who isn't your type or somebody who you don't think is your type. That's the thing, is say if you're super into femmes or you're super into butches or whatever, super into athletic girls, date the opposite. Date a nerdy girl, date a bro. Mm, you know what, I take that back. Never <laughs> date a bro, okay? Never date a bro. Yeah, <laughs> you'll regret it. Yeah, date someone who you don't think your type is. And like the total opposite, because you never actually know. Don't date someone who is bad for you. We're not saying that. Date someone who you wouldn't necessarily think is that type that exactly. you usually go for. If you're if you're a Hufflepuff, date a Slytherin. <laughs> like you just never know. Have you done it? I have done it. Um, I have. I did, but it didn't last long. But I did do okay, it. You tried it. I thought it was gonna be great, and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. But that's be it was it was more because of me. You know what? I also did it, and it didn't last long. <laughs> yeah. But you'll never but know no unless you do it. It was a good time. I don't regret it. You like learn about yourself. Exactly. Number six on the lesbian bucket list, and this is something I think also like cutting your hair short is what gay people across the board always yeah. want to know. It's what would I look like as the opposite sex and mm -hmm. that dress in drag. drag. Gay guys, I feel especially, they all want to know. They're like, would I be a, a sexy drag queen? Yes. And I think lesbians too. I'm like, what would I look like? As a boy, you don't have to like go and perform. You can do it like even for Halloween one year. Halloween's That's a perfect what it's thing. there for. Or throw yes. a drag party. We did that one time. Yeah, we did a drag party for my yeah. birthday where everyone had to dress had in, to drag. Be in drag. And we also Stephen AJ. Stephen AJ. That's <laughs> and I realize I am not an attractive man. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Are we actually? Is it seven? I think it's seven. Okay, go to an LGBT film festival. Maybe what you don't realize is that all of the films there are gay. They have feature films, they have documentaries, they have short films, and everything is super gay. And this is maybe the best part, my favorite part about going to an LGBT film festival, is you are surrounded by gay people. You get to watch gay movies with gay people, and it's actually the best. Of course we have done that. We have been to many gay film festivals. And we've had movies in gay film festivals. Okay, uh, number eight, I believe, um, and it's go to a gay sports event. And when I say gay sports event, I mean like a women's sports event, because <laughs> There's going to be a gay player no matter where you are. At least one. At least one. Go to the an LBGA tour event. Go to see the United States women's soccer team play. Go to a WNBA event. It's great to support women. And also, like, you get to just, like, go watch some really hot women kick some butt playing a sport. Even if you don't know what the rules are. It doesn't matter. It's still fun. You get to watch <laughs> women be really skilled yeah. at doing something usually with a ball. <laughs> the only time you're gonna see that. <laughs> and we went to a gay sporting event. We went to the LPGA recently. Number nine, adopt a cat, adopt a dog, or if you know it's not in, you know. If you're like, I, you I don't have time do or the commitment. It's too great. You could foster cats and dogs. Let's be real, as gay ladies, we probably like animals more than we like people. A hundred percent. And there's like, there's nothing like having a cute little pet to come home to. Number 10. Number 10 on our, and it's a final item on our lesbian bucket list. It's ask her out. At least once, you gotta crush on someone, 
once in your life you gotta tell them. Yeah. Because you never know. And it's so much worse keeping it inside. And so we just released a short film last Wednesday that is literally about having feelings for someone and having the courage to tell them. It is called Maybe Today and we released it on Wednesday so if you guys haven't seen it yet please check it out. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. Leave a comment which of these things you've checked off your lesbian bucket list. And what you still need to do. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.